going on you guys i'm mitchell with mitchell's lawn care here in colfax north carolina and i'm sitting on the dewalt d260 uh, i've already done a walk around of this mower if you missed that check out the channel for that video uh, but today is all about the review and my opinion on this mower uh, the likes and the dislikes so first off i want to thank dewalt and their team for making this video possible and sponsoring this content for you guys and let's not waste any time I'm gonna get this mower in the shop it's hot out here uh, so I'll do the uh, review in there but anyways stick around let's get this video going Alright you guys, so welcome to my shop. Hopefully you caught the first video in this three video series, my walk around of this mower and why it's here in the fleet. Uh, again, this is the DeWalt Z260 and I want to thank them again for allowing me to use this mower for a few months and for them sponsoring this content for you guys, okay? But video two, this one, is all about my review of this mower, okay? Some likes and some dislikes. Uh, but this is solely my beliefs, my feelings, my opinions, okay? And there are several likes, and I've got a few dislikes, okay? Um, the positive outweighs the negative, which is a good thing, okay? And hopefully that can influence you um, with your purchase. Um, again, I wanna thank DeWalt for allowing me to use this mower for a few months um, and sponsoring this content for you guys, all right? So I've got a little cheat sheet here, just wanna make sure that I hit every point and I don't miss anything, okay? So um, I'm gonna do it kind of in reverse fashion, okay? I'm gonna start out with the dislikes and finish up on a positive note, okay? So I've been using this mower for, again, uh, a few weeks now and you know I've had some time to, to spend with it, to get used to it, to use it, to test it, um, I don't put it through, you know, a, a battery of tests to see if I can break it. I'm not that guy. This is not that channel. And DeWalt did not loan me this mower to see if I could destroy it. Okay. Um, so that didn't happen. Um, but I used in it, I used this mower as it's designed to be used to cut grass. Okay. Um, in your normal everyday conditions. Okay. Uh, you know, dry conditions, wet conditions, stuff like that. Cutting everything from fescue, Bermuda, to weeds, all right, which I'm sure, you know, we probably all have to deal with. Um, so I've got three dislikes, okay? And this is, again, my opinion and my opinion only based on the time that I have spent with this mower. So I'm gonna start out first with the operator seating position. Okay, where this seat is in relationship to the foot platform and getting on and everything like that, okay? Um, I find it as a negative and I will show you why. Um, I'm a taller guy, so I'm gonna demonstrate why this is on my dislike list, okay? But I'm also gonna preface it with, I really like their seat. They do have a comfortable seat. So, in this position right here with your feet, planted on the platform right here. As you can see, now I'm tall, I'm 6'2", so not everybody is going to be like this, okay? But there's tall guys out there, there's tall women out there, um, there's older operators, there's operators with knee injuries, hip injuries, back injuries, stuff like that, and that's why they want a sit down zero turn mower. So this was a negative for me, a dislike, because my hips, okay, are below my knees. Now, just sitting here mowing, perfectly fine. Can even kick back, you know, kick out your legs. I've got plenty, plenty of room. So operator room, a bonus, okay? Definitely a positive. But if you can see right here, when you go to stand up, all right, your hips being below your knees is going to, in my opinion, is going to make it a little bit difficult on some operators to get up, especially if they've been sitting here for several hours mowing, okay? Um, you really have to rely on your upper body strength to get you out of this position because again, your, your, 
butt is below your knees. So you, when you lean forward, you can see what I mean. It's gonna take all of your leg strength and upper body strength to get you out of this position. If the seat was a little bit higher, okay, you know, I know this may be tough and, you know, research and development, stuff like that. But if the seat was a little bit higher to get this uh, seating position from being as extreme, in my opinion, it would help. Um, not a deal breaker. Again, just my opinion. Okay, just a little bit. Now, I don't have any problems getting off this mower. I'm just thinking some people may based on this. Okay, so you have to rely a lot on your legs standing up instead of just sliding off the, uh, the seat. Okay, so that's my first dislike. There's only two more. So overall, Dwight has done a great job with this mower. Second one um, has to do with the operator seat as well. Now I know I just said that I really like their seat. It is comfortable and that is true. I really like the seat. I love the style of it with the um, you know, two-tone yellow and black with the contrast stitching. You know, it almost looks like something out of a sports car. It's very comfortable, nice side bolstering, and even got padded armrests, which I never use. Some of y'all may use, but those things stay. If they never put them on mowers again, it wouldn't hurt my feelings. But some guys love these things. And if you do love them, they're very padded, nice and comfy. But again, I don't use them. So the negative is there, there is really no suspension to this seat. Now I will say this, I will preface this and I will uh, try to show you an image of it right here uh, using my GoPro. But underneath this seat, there are some rubber bushings, okay, to somewhat act as a suspension. But from my experience and my time on this mower, it's very, very stiff, okay? Um, especially my front yard, it's a new construction lot. The septic field is very rough and it, it beat and banged me around, okay? Um, so it's very, very stiff. It's a rough riding um, seat in my opinion because of lack of adequate suspension. Um, now, maybe it's something that DeWalt could update later on and you know upgrade their seat and hopefully keep the mower at the same price point. I don't know. Um, but just my opinion, it's a little bit of a rough ride not having like a true suspension seat. Now, I should have prefaced this with my likes and dislikes are based off of, you know, coming off of uh, mowers that are two times what this mower costs. Okay, so you would expect on a mower that cost two times what this one does to have, you know, some more operator um, you know, creature comforts. Okay. This mower is at a certain price point for a reason and it is designed uh, and built the way it is for a reason. So I understand overall love the seat. The seat itself is comfortable. I love the design of it. Just a little rough for a little stiffer my liking. Okay. That's two out of the three. So we're almost done with the dislikes. We're going to get into the positives. Okay. So my other dislike and my last dislike has to do with the power plant, okay? Not the brand that they chose because that's actually on my positive and my like list, but, um, you know, I'm gonna pan around this thing with the GoPro and show you, but um, the 24 horsepower motor, in my opinion, uh, is a little underpowered for the 60 inch deck. Uh, I'm sure it is perfect for the Z254, but the Z260, uh, has got this 24 horsepower um, engine option from Kawasaki. Um, and there was a few times when I got into some thicker, more wet situations with the grass, cutting it, and it bogged the motor down a lot. Okay, um, I believe if it was a you know minimum 27 horse, that it would probably correct that problem. So maybe that's something that um, DeWalt could address later on. I don't know. Again, they've got this mower at a certain price point. So one counter to what I'm saying is uh, this was situations where I let the grass grow for a couple weeks. So it had some growth on it. It was thicker um, than your, you know, routine weekly cut, if you will. So maybe mowing weekly 
you would never experience that issue, okay? Um, but there are situations that arise that we can't control weather, so you may have to skip a yard one week, even though you don't want to. Um, so just my one little hiccup with this, with this power plant, um, I would like to personally see 27 horsepower minimum on this mower, okay? That's it, you guys. That's my dislikes for this Z260. Operator position, seat comfort, uh, stiffness, and then the power plant, okay? I think that's pretty good. You know, I went over this thing with a fine tooth comb and I tried to nitpick it to death. Um, but I, I think DeWalt's done a great job with this more considering they're brand new in the OPE scene. So let's get into some likes. Finish on a positive note because I really do enjoy this mower, okay? So first like has to do with that little yellow knob that you see in the operator area over there, okay? But that yellow dial is the selectable deck height control, okay? And I really, really like it because it is so easy to control the deck height on this mower from you know your lowest settings all the way up to your highest settings. And it's that quick. It doesn't matter where you're at, you know, you don't have to reset anything. It doesn't matter what direction you go. Wherever you stop is the um, height of the cut. I really, really like this. Um, I've never seen this on any other mower that I have used or I have owned. So this is new to me and I think it's really neat. I think it's, I really, really like it. Going back onto the motor, I love the fact that DeWalt has gone with Kawasaki. I love Kawasaki motors. I've never had any issues with them um, since 2009, 2010, um, when I bought my first commercial mowers. Um, they too had Kawasaki's on it. So I am partial to the Kawasaki engines. I love them. I think Kawasaki makes a great motor. And when I see them on a you know, commercial mower or I see them on any mower or I see them especially on a new mower, you know, to me, that brand is doing something. And DeWalt really did something good when they chose to uh, put the Kawasaki power plant on this mower. So I was really glad to see that when it got dropped off here uh, at the shop. Third like positive thing is the cut quality. Um, overall, I've been really pleased with the cut quality. Um, like any mower that I have ever used and owned, depending on how you operate it, um, your ground speed, stuff like that, how clean your deck is, how sharp your blades are, will determine your cut quality, okay? So the blades were sharp, sharp, the deck was clean, mowing at your, you know, average pace, cut quality, was really, really good. I was really um, surprised with the quality of cut. Again, based on the price point that this mower comes in uh, at compared to some other mowers that I have owned or tested. Um, so I was really, really pleased with the cut quality on this Z260. I just said it, price point. So my fourth like is the price point of this. Um, this mower comes in in the 74, 75, 76 hundred dollar range. Yes, that's not cheap, of course. I understand that. I'm not saying that that is a cheap price, that this is a cheap mower because it's not, okay? But the mowers that it is competing with, it is a competitive price, okay? Especially when you get into the commercial scene, commercial components, um, you know, the, the, the heavier duty components, okay? That, that stuff costs money, okay? And these manufacturers are, are not skimping on things. And DeWalt did not skimp on this mower. And you know, there's heavy duty gauge steel back here. You know, it, it's not cheap stuff. It's all thick stuff, okay? So the price point that they came in at with this, um, I really, really like. And for somebody that, you know, has got that budget and they can only spend, you know, sub eight thousand dollars you know sub eighty five hundred dollars this thing should appeal to them because of the price point and i think dewalt has really hit this home okay with the price um fifth like 
and this is a huge one, especially for contractors, business owners, stuff like that. The ease of preventative maintenance, okay? Preventative maintenance, what is that? That's your oil changes, your air filter changes, you're cleaning the deck, you're, um, you know, getting the mower blades on and off, okay? Changing fuel filters and spark plugs and all that stuff that you should be doing based on the owner's manual. And I will pan you back here around the back of this mower, but, um, you know, as you can see, it's, very easy to get to the oil dipstick. Uh, it's very easy to get to the oil filter. It's very easy to get to where the oil drain tube is. The air filter is right here on top, okay? Moving over to the left side, the fuel filter is right there for you to see it. Nothing is blocked, nothing is in your way. Um, and if you need to get to the battery, it's easily accessible under the seat. So preventative maintenance, is going to be very easy for the contractor employee business owner whoever the homeowner that buys this this mower it's going to be really easy in my opinion to service this um, i have owned mowers here at mitchell's lawn care where they were knuckle busters okay everything was so cramped and tight you couldn't get into it you know it almost felt like you had to take the mower apart just to change the oil um, but this DeWalt has designed it in a way that you can get to everything very, very easily. Okay, so love the preventative maintenance uh, ease aspect of this mower. Okay, and last but not least, builds off of the preventative maintenance. And it's not even really a thing on this mower, but is a service that DeWalt offers you the owner of the mower and that is the pro support hub uh, i would show you on my phone right here but the service in this building is subpar um, so i'm going to show you some still images and some screen recordings probably some voiceovers um, here in just a minute of the pro support hub but in a nutshell um, it is literally you know an app designed for you and this mower to make life easier on you okay to you know schedule your maintenances and repairs to videos on how to do certain things on this mower if you're you know curious how to change the oil if you're curious how to tighten or loosen or change or replace you know what have you um, there is a plethora of information on the pro support hub with that being said let's dive into it i'm going to show you some of the pro support hub so let's check that thing out all righty this is the pro support hub by dewalt there's four categories that you can check out maintenance and repair fine service parts lookup and then you have a customer support section with one-on-one -on -one support really really helpful stuff okay Going into the uh, first category, maintenance and repair, click on learn more. It's going to bring up a bunch of videos and articles that could help you out with the mower that you possibly have. Okay, um, installing a grass collector, how to adjust and level the deck on different mowers here, depending on which one that you have. Just some helpful information that could help you out with the mower that you have. Um, there's even a video on how to uncrate the mower, which should be done by your dealer, but you never know, okay? Now, the next section, this is probably gonna be the most helpful one to a lot of guys. If you are in need of parts, this is your parts lookup. So, really easy, shop by the machine, just scroll over left or right, whichever, find the mower that you own that is in your fleet, okay? Of course, I selected the Z260 because that's the one that is in my fleet, and you can buy your parts here if you need it. There's a search block and you can even just browse through what's listed, you know, by most popular, etc. And as you can see here, uh, they've got some, you know, stuff uh, posted, cotter pins, deck gauge wheels, solenoids, stuff like that. Or you can be specific and type in. If you happen to misplace a manual, there's even some manuals here for ease. Okay, uh, really, really like this section. So moving into the next segment is going to be your service center lookup. I typed in the zip code where I live to just show you an example of how this works. 
and it's going to bring up the closest service center slash dealers near me and the top one being Wino, which I have gone to for many, many years. Uh, it even shows one down uh, in Carthage, which is 76 miles. But anyways, it should bring up the, the top, you know, four, five uh, dealers near you that can help you out. All right, you guys, so that is my review of the DeWalt Z260. If you've got any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know in the comment section down below. I uh, thoroughly enjoyed my time with this mower here and uh, kind of sad to see it go. I believe DeWalt's gonna be picking it up in the next couple weeks. Um, but this is not the last that you'll see this mower. Uh, I do have a third video plan, the third planned, the third and final video of the series, okay? And it's just some, uh, some general preventative maintenance on that, okay? Cleaning the deck, sharpening the blades, um, what have you. Showing you how to get the air filter off. Um, I'm not gonna change oil because it's not time to, uh, but just showing you the, the ease of that, okay? And a little bit of mowing footage, okay? I know we started the video off with that, but uh, I wanna show you a little bit more and show you how this thing stripes, okay? So tune into that video, should be a week or two after this one. And again, I want to thank DeWalt and their team for uh, allowing me to use this mower, for sponsoring this content for you guys. And if you're considering this mower in your fleet, um, it should be at the top of your list because it's a, it's a well, well built mower, well thought out. And, you know, uh, again, I've said in my opinion 150 times, but in my opinion, they've done their homework and, you know, my my dislike, dislikes with it aren't a deal breaker, okay? Um, there was many, many things that I liked about this thing, um, even more, but I didn't want this video to be, you know, an hour long, so I took um, the top of each, and that's what we talked about, so. Uh, great mower. I appreciate you guys tuning in, and if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. If you're subscribed to the channel, thanks for uh, your support. You know, you guys are the reason why I do this. If you're not subscribed, um, you know, uh, why not hit that little button, okay? It takes no effort. Just, just hit it. Just hit it, all right? Anyways, stay tuned for video three. It'll be a week or two, okay? I know I've already said that, and thanks for your guys' support. Browse the channel. There's many other videos, okay? We'll see you next video.